everybody, I'm Stacey J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to part two with Josh Parkinson. Let's go. In regards to, you know, sharing other people's content on your page and with others, I mean, you're being a good friend by sharing their content, right. content, pictures, videos, and stuff like that. But I've noticed that some people go way overboard and they actually post it as their own. As if yeah. it came from them, which I think is kind of like not cool. It's a little shady. So yeah. it's a little shady. So don't do that, right? It's not good yeah, etiquette. <laughs> I, I would I would recommend avoiding that. There's just you, you just don't need to do that. Right. Um, it's gonna do you more good to share their post than you know steal it and post it as your own. Right. Mm -hmm. You know this is a, it's it's a community ultimately, especially in niches like voiceover. You know everyone's gonna everyone. Uh, you know, at least a, a, probably a large portion of the people know each other and they, they're all in that same kind of milieu that they, they, you don't want to become the bad apple there, right? You right. want to be, you want to be a, a good Samaritan in, in that yeah. community. So, um, it's just, I just don't think it's necessary. I think it's a mistake. Well, staying in that vein, in addition to stealing people's posts, um, what are some, maybe like the top three things that you think are not a good thing to do on your page. Okay, let's let's kind of break it down to into into posting and 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 actually the how your timeline looks. Okay. okay. There's a few things with posting. Number one is is not posting often enough. Posting once a week, I think that's a huge mistake. It's a huge miss, missed opportunity and you're and you know, remember that as we talked about before with edge rank, the more people that are interacting with clicking on your posts the more your posts are going to show up in their news feeds later if you're only posting once a week it's very unlikely that those people are going to see those posts you know just a small fraction of your fan base are going to see your posts an even smaller fraction is going to click on it and you're just kind of kind of you're not going to make any traction right you're not going to grow yeah so the biggest mistake of all is not posting another mistake is posting way too much and, and automating your posts in a, in, in a really crude and, and um, robotic way. You know, you don't want to be sending out, a, a, you know, 10 posts an hour. There's a word for that. And it's called spam, right? And, and luckily, uh, Facebook has made it really easy for fans to hide pages and, 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 and hide the posts. And, and that's, you know, that's, the very worst outcome that you can get as a fan page is for someone to click on one of your posts and click hide all posts from said fan page, right? That basically means you're dead to them. You'll ne they'll, ne you they'll never see another post of yours. Uh, another thing is with posting that can get you in trouble and, and, and just is a bad risk to take is to break Facebook's rules. Um, you know, contests are big on Facebook and you know, so many people are breaking the rules and putting their pages at risk. For example, Facebook does not allow you to 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 post in the newsfeed and say, "Hey, we're having a contest. Whoever comments with the you know best comment wins a hundred dollars, or wins a gift certificate, or wins a free month of this." That's actually illegal on Facebook to do that. So I would I would familiarize yourself with the Facebook contest rules. We have a, a couple really good blog posts on that, and we'll we'll put them at the bottom of the screen here so you can check those out. Uh, but yeah, don't break Facebook's rules. They're they're there for a reason, and when you do that, you're putting your whole business at risk on Facebook. There's a few things you should avoid on your page as well, and I think this is a pretty good thing to talk about because you know your 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 timeline is is a pretty important piece of real estate for your business. Your timeline on on Facebook, and you want to remember that 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 timeline is the first impression you're going to make on a lot of people. So don't take it lightly. Be professional about it. Um, you know, you you have two main images on that timeline and that that's your cover photo and your profile pic, right? Mm -hmm. The profile pic is the is the image that that people are going to see next to your posts in the news feed. Uh it's a square, right? Uh and the cover photo is th that long um horizontal photo that you have at the top of your timeline. You know, those two things, spend a little money, you know, get a designer to, to make it look good. Uh, don't post something that just looks kind of random, doesn't have anything to do with your brand um, and, you know, doesn't, uh, you know, identify you to your fans. Make a great first impression with those images. Um, so with your cover photo, I would definitely, you know, put a call to action there. You could put your URL in the cover photo 
And then in the comment or the, the caption of that photo, you could put the actual link and then they can click that link after they click your photo. But ultimately, you, you, even if they don't click the photo, you want them to see that, right? You want them to see that, that your, your presence on Facebook is about your business on the web. Um, so, you know, I, I would put a call to action in your, your cover photo. Facebook recently uh, um, withdrew their ban on that. They used to ban call to actions, right? They said you can't have a call to action in your cover photo, but they basically removed that. So now you can. So do it. You know, ask. It's, it's, it's been proven over and over in Facebook and, and, and e-commerce that when you ask people to do things, they do them much more often than if you don't ask them to. So by all means, ask your potential customers to go and check out your product or your service or go watch your YouTube video or, or go do that main action that you want them to do. Put it in big, bright colors and professional design on that cover photo. It's a great piece of real estate. Now, that said, let's talk about your profile pic. You want that profile pic to be very identifiable and branded, right? Because that's what's going to be next to your status updates. And optimize it for a square, right? You don't want to put like a big horizontal uh, uh, logo that, that both sides get cut off. Yep. And you have like your phone number and your address underneath it that no one can read because in the news feed it's so tiny that it just looks like, you know, babble. Um, make it a very distinct, colorful, uh, nice, simple logo, and it, it, it's going to benefit you. And and you know what? If if you don't have a logo, if you're a human, if you're like, <laughs> if you're a human, <laughs> if your business is about you as a person, put your picture. You know, put your face there because that you know that's that's what you're all about. That's your your brand is your face. Um, Josh, I've been using your uh, post planner now for a while and I loved awesome. it. I, I remember when we ran across that and I'm like, wow, this is so cool. <laughs> it's going to save us a lot of time just to get the message out to everybody that wants to have it. Um, and uh, and like you said, the uh, status update ideas, really, really great, great ideas on things that you can post about that people are genuinely interested in. Mm -hmm. So it just gives you ideas, yeah. which is great. And, and so much more. Can you please give us a little overview of what Post Planner is, how people can benefit from it, and how they can get it. get it. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, Post Planner is all about saving you time and and making Facebook easy for you as a business, right? Um, we 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 want you to spend less time, you know, finding content and going to Facebook and posting it. So we created an application that's going to save you time and make it really easy for you to find awesome content that's going to get those clicks that I talked about earlier. So, you know, we have all kinds of features that that allow you to to optimize your scheduling, right? Like when those posts are going to go out. You know, I mentioned the stagger feature where you can post to multiple pages and put put time intervals in between them. You can create repeating posts and all kinds of stuff that that help you with your scheduling. Um, but also on the content side of the app, we have a huge database that's full of uh, stat pre-written status ideas uh, organized into categories like fill in the blanks, questions, um, seasonal stuff, uh, uh, even stuff about Facebook and tech. You know, one little secret that I I'll tell you about is that people on Facebook love to talk about Facebook. So if you can ask questions that have fa the word Facebook in them, uh, you're you're gonna get a lot more um, response from those, but so we have a whole category of status ideas that have to do with technology and Facebook. Then we have this brand new thing that we've brought out in the last uh, couple months, and it's it's called our content engine. It's a place where you can go in and you can put in all kinds of feeds from different places, blogs, fan pages, Twitter accounts. And what you're doing is you're kind of building up a library, a streaming library of content that's always being refreshed and always um, providing you with choices and options for content to post. Recently, we've, we, and we're just launching this in the next month, and it will be live by the time this, this interview goes live. Uh, we have a, a, a keyword feature where you could actually type in voiceover, and you could get the hottest content on the web about voiceover then you can organize those into into folders and you can it just makes it really easy to find awesome content that you can post on Facebook Josh is there any way you would maybe hook our viewers up with a little discount for sure definitely we Yay! will 
Um, in fact, we'll give you a free month so you can just go there and test it out yourself and, and make sure it's the right thing for you. Um, we're going to provide a coupon code for that. Uh, it is VOBUZZ2013. All you got to do is type that into the coupon space at checkout in the URL below. Um, you know, we have a couple different plans. We have our expert plan and our guru plan. Uh, you can decide which one's best for you. I definitely recommend the guru plan because that comes with all the awesome content features. So head to the, the URL in the, in, below us and, you know, click gu sign up for guru and then you can throw in that uh, coupon code and get the first 30 days for free. Sweet. Very cool. That's awesome. Thank Good you. Uh, now, when it comes to posting uh, on multiple groups at the same time, uh, that's one of the things that Post Planner enables you to do is to just post uh, to all the groups that you belong to uh, when you have something to share. Um, are there some like general good practices for that or maybe some general things that you really should not do when you're posting to mo multiple groups? Definitely, especially if you're in a niche like voiceover, right? Because, you know, I'm sure there's a ton of groups out there that are specifically geared toward voiceover. Yeah. And, pr you know, probably most of the people who belong to one group belong to multiple groups, just like you, right? And so if you post the same exact content to all of them at the exact same time, then you're just going to piss a lot of people off, right? <laughs> you're just going to be known as the spammer. And that's the last thing that you want to be known as, and it's the last thing that Facebook wants you doing on their site. You want to stay away from any behavior that is spammy, right? So I would, you know, if I were you, I would use Post Planner and, and use our stagger feature, which allows you to put a, a, a interval of your choice between your posts. So, well, first of all, to back up a little bit, you can actually create lists in, of groups in Post Planner. So you could create a list of, you know, 30 voiceover groups that you belong to, and then you can select that list in a single click, and then you can stagger the posts, you know, by a half an hour or an hour or even a day, right? So that the, you might send out the same post to all of those groups, but they're not all go they're not flooding Facebook all at the same time. One's going out and then an hour later another one's going out, then an hour later another one's going out. And that's a great way to go because I think, you know, I think groups are a really cool thing on Facebook that are are very much underused. Uh, I think pages are hyped a whole lot and for good reason. They're very valuable things. I see a lot of spamming groups out there that aren't great. You don't really want to belong to those groups, but I think that groups are going to be pretty hot this year uh, where, where really legitimate niches like voiceover are going to be really growing in groups. And, and there's not – I promise you there's not a better tool out there to post to groups than Post Planner. Most of our competitors don't even let you post to groups and the ones that do don't have nearly the, the, the power and capability that we have. So we're really optimized for group posting on Facebook. Yeah. Well, That's I'm going to agree That's with that. True. So, Josh, just to kind of button us up here, what would you say to those people that are either intimidated by social media, Facebook specifically, or who maybe fear it's a privacy invasion, or maybe just say, I don't have time, and so they just say, I'm not going to do it. What would you say to them to maybe change their mind about it? Facebook's where everybody is. If you want to get more customers, if you want to get more recognition, if you want to grow your brand, if you want to go large in life, uh, in the business world, you got to get on social media, and social media means Facebook. As far as the privacy stuff goes, Facebook has a lot of things that they have a lot of controls that are going to allow you to 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 you know take those fears away. Uh, if you want to grow your business, the the one of the biggest opportunities for you to do that it's it's free distribution for your messages and for your advertising and for your brand. It's Facebook, so get on there. There you go. Awesome. And I will add to that that I have never in the years that I've been on Facebook <laughs> ever had a negative uh Anything negative posted on any of our, right. you know, blogs or messenger. Mm -hmm. I mean, every we actually these are people that actually enjoy the content and the voiceover community is. Uh, no, there's no other community out there right. like the voiceover community. You guys are freaking awesome, and you know who you are, and uh, and it's just always such a pleasure to to be in that whole field and yeah. sharing with people and learning and to about connect the world. yeah to yeah. connect to connect and the that real word world. community keeps being used today by you by you know and it it really is that and so I think if you if you approach it in the right way and yeah. you put 
positive information messages out there, it's a really good thing. Yep. And, and if you're a business, if you're a business, you you really are in control. If you have a fan page, you pretty much control everything. If if a fan gets out of hand, you can ban him. Yeah. You know, you don't yeah. have to allow that stuff. You can put rules and you have full control over your presence. So, you have a very interesting background, you personally. I want to ask you a true or false question. Ooh. <laughs> Imagine I've posted it, okay? Um, you taught Shakespeare to the troops in Afghanistan. That's true. You want to talk about that? Yeah, you want to tell us a little <laughs> bit about that? Yeah, I, ha I had a great opportunity, you know, back when uh, I was living in Germany for several years. Uh, I was doing a little music over there, and um, I, I, I was a teacher uh, before going to Europe, and so I had the credentials to, to teach at the university level. And, you know, about five years into my time at, at, in Germany, I, I got the opportunity to to uh, teach for the University of Maryland, who provides classes for all the troops downrange uh, during the, you know, the Iraq war and, and the Afghanistan war. And, um, yeah, I, I, I seized it and, and went down there. I spent a couple deployments down in Kuwait and then one in Afghanistan uh, in the east of the country, right next to the Pakistani border. So... We had rockets raining down on us, mortars. Um, it was it was pretty exciting stuff, and and my my students were out there, you know, on the front lines fighting every day. And then they'd come in, and we'd we'd discuss philosophy, uh, you know, Plato, Shakespeare, you know, the the, the great Stoic philosophers. I, I taught philosophy and, and literature, so it was a really cool opportunity to kind of give them a break from um, you know the the stress that they were under. Uh, but also, you know, uh, help them, you know, grow their minds and 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 expand their horizons. It's brilliant. Love wow. It. So besides Josh being a uh, Facebook marketing expert, I can't believe that he actually jumps on a plane <laughs> and goes into a war zone to share and 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 teach and 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 make the troops feel good that's really cool man when i read about that yeah, i'm like we got to have that guy on our show we loved period. you before and then we're like oh we love yeah. him even more <laughs> and you have a music background too so. absolutely and that makes you ultra cool brother <laughs> i really grew to love the the troops they're, they're they're a good bunch of people a very diverse uh slice of america and um, you know they were they were they were great kids and great students and i, I love my time with them I'll, I'll, I'll always treasure that time we just want to thank you so much for coming on the show, Josh. You're amazing. Keep doing the awesome stuff you're doing, and we're watching. Hey, thanks for having me. I, I really enjoyed it. All thanks right, buddy. Guys. Well, hallelujah. <laughs> now you're armed and dangerous and ready, really ready, to take full advantage of marketing and promoting yourself and your brand on Facebook the correct way. Absolutely. And all you new Facebook experts, keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest at VO Buzz Weekly. You guys take care until next time, and just remember, you, you always, always have time for a little buzz. buzz.